right so uh, we're going to go through the process on how to download shapefile and also how to download um, srtm data from blender and this can also be exported as shapefiles for esri or actual software and fqjs all right so if you've downloaded the software double click on blender the application to run if you've not been able to download the software you can watch the previous video on how to download the software all right so you can also watch the previous video on how to also download the software at the GIS add-on. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to look at is click on GIS and you click on Web Geo Data to add a database map and click OK. Alright, so let's zoom to layer where we have uh, our study area. You, you have to zoom to a narrow area so that you don't have much data to download. It takes much time. All right, so let's just zoom to somewhere that looks a bit clumsy. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is use Control E to select a study area you want to download. Then the next thing you go to is GIS, and also you add under OSM data. You click on these and um, select the ones you want. I'll just select buildings, land is. Let's just select everything. This might take a longer period of time because of the number of data we have directly from OSM. So once you've clicked OK takes a lot of time all right so now here we have our data you can see the layers arranged here so another important thing is uh, to save this file you need to click on the area you want to save for example you want to save uh, the roads that's the roads here it says highlighted and you see the roads um, also highlighted here as highways so what you do is once it's highlighted, you click on GIS and click export to shapefile. Once you click export to shapefile, another important thing is you need to change this to line. Once you've changed this to line, object to features, and you change this uh, mesh to features, object to features, select objects, selected objects, object to features. Then change this to line. All right. So once you've selected this, locate the folder where you want to save your file. I can save this one as um, Lagos underscore rule dot shp. All right. Then you click export shape file. All right, it should give you a notification that exports complete. So if the export is complete, you can open ArcGIS software and add your data. If you're familiar with ArcGIS software or you're not familiar, you can watch a previous video on our introduction to ArcGIS software. So now on this software, the first thing you have to do is locate your file, your data, or you link a folder from here. All right, so this is my folder. I save it as Lagos underscore road, and you add your data. As easy as it is, it's going to add the shape file. So thereby, you can use the same method to convert from OSM to shape file. Well, but that's just that for those that are into 3D mapping, you want to get your hands into shape files. And also take note that you can export shape files into Blender. If you go to Blender, you see in ArcGIS, you see imports, and you can import shape files directly from Blender. All right, so it's as flexible as it is. So once you do this, I think you're good. You can see some of the rules, and note that this is projected in WGS, as it's for the global for Google. All right, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.